Hello, and welcome to Squirrel Trails. I'm David. And I'm Al. Today, we're going to talk about how your phone is secretly tracking your every movement. Well, I don't know if it's secret. You said they could do it. Did you say you could do it? Well, that's always the question when it comes to authentication. So you gave permission, but did you realize you gave permission? Yeah, and that's we're going to be running down that squirrel trail all over the place in this discussion. So today I'm going to be very optimistic um, and a little nasty. I can just see it coming. <laughs> So, Al, what are we talking about today? Yeah, well, I saw a wonderful article. I, to be honest, one of those things I just was bouncing from site to site and ended up on a New York Times site where the article is, In Stores, Secret Bluetooth Surveillance Tracks Your Every Move. Yay. So. So, yeah. So, go before I rant on my, <laughs> my, on my whole privacy statement stuff, um, can, can, uh, how are you talking about it first? So, let's talk about, in, in reality, you're being tracked all the time already, right? Sadly enough, yes. Yes. So, how many of you have actually turned off your location settings on your phone? Um, I know my wife doesn't, uh, is off all the time unless she's turning it on to use her GPS, and then she turns it off. Okay. She is very good at that. That's that's outstanding. Me, the complete opposite. And which one of the two of you is interested in privacy as a conversation? Oh, but I'm hoping that uh, I'm waiting to go. I'm waiting to get in trouble, um, so I can go to court and fight about people tracking me. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> so the yeah yeah there's yeah I want to be the next lawsuit. That's how I'm going to retire. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't doesn't really work that way. I'd have asked that. <laughs> he's still he's still in court. Yeah, good point. And he'll probably stay in court forever that way. Oh yeah. It's, so that's what happens when we try to sue Google. <laughs> yes. Good luck again. Good luck with that one. How's that work? out for right you. yeah that's so well <laughs> so <laughs> we're rolling back to where we're at um so i you never had to worry about this before because your phone never, never stayed with you i mean yeah, it stayed when, in your car or your you know, home it stayed in my home for the most part because well, i didn't have eight miles of cable but you did have the car phone <laughs> Sure. Back. <laughs> Way back when, if anybody knows that is. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. So, I predate car phones. There's a scary thought. <laughs> so, you predate uh, the the first mobile phone. Actually, I do. Now that I think about it, I yeah, predate satellite phones. Ow. Okay. You now that I feel really freaking old, well, you almost pre predate uh, the internet. In some senses, I do. <laughs> I, just, I had to think about that one. That one hurt. Ow. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> you're not yeah. older than dirt, but you're older than the internet. <laughs> okay. Ouch. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Back on track. Yeah. Now, uh, now I'm gonna go home and have my chair at all. <laughs> so the. Um, all right. Tell so, your therapist I said hi. So. You get tracked in a lot of different ways. I do actually predate some of the, a lot of the privacy conversations. And this was something we talked about um, when privacy first became a topic is who's collecting data and where are we being tracked? Um, I remember when it was on a trip in India, we were looking at a quote model store that a developer was building software for that it would track where you were around the store. Now on this one, it actually was built into the shopping cart. Okay. So you'd go, you'd go in, you'd load up, uh, you'd, you'd grab a shopping cart, and you would authenticate in some fashion to the grocery store. And it'd do that by wanting you to load your grocery list or something else, so it would help you tell you where all the data is, where, well, where all the or the groceries and anything that you wanted to purchase were around the store. How convenient. Yes. And if you're in a store like Menards, that's an, actually a really good idea. Yeah. Because I could spend forever wandering around in there. Or the local computer store. A micro center. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, yes. <laughs> so that's, I, Not a I, I have to bring somebody in to take me out of there so I actually leave the store. You can't go there alone. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but with the way this the way this process would work is they would actually have little um, Bluetooth beacons scattered throughout the store, 
and it would tell me it would track and and send me to locations from where I was so it was like having GPS for your grocery cart it's a wonderful little idea but little did I actually think about that until I started going hum what are they actually doing with that data and then they told us the whole idea of this was to then identify where you were going around a store and send you advertisements as you went there and that's actually become a very big deal this has become a huge industry so they're tracking where you are all the time uh, when you're in the stores and in all honesty whenever you're around town it's just not just in stores but we'll talk about it from what's in stores but it's done elsewhere to be able to send you coupons and advertising to send you into a local store nearby or to pick up something that's there. So how does this process work? Okay, so let's, uh, before we go into that really quick, um, let's talk about the article a little bit more. Okay. Before we kind of dig into the background. Okay, so real quick, um, uh, anything we say um, is our opinion, our opinion alone, and not those of our employers. And potentially not anybody we know either, so. <laughs> so, well, not anybody. Oh, I know. So this article does it basically walks through a simple phases. It introduces the concept of what is Bluetooth tracking. Okay, it walks you through the process, how it does, and and why it's better. Um, one of the big things that this article brings out is, if you think about it, your phone tracks you with GPS all the time. So there's GPS data, there's cell data that's tracking where you're at. But those are relatively imprecise. Yeah. I mean, even GPS data is only good down to about five meters. So that's not very far. Yeah, how, many time, it, how many times have you, have you almost missed your turn? Yes, absolutely. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Generally, when I'm talking to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm such a distraction. So, yeah, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there is as so to be able to work in a grocery store it's got to get really precise sure yeah because it needs to know where you're at because there's a lot of stuff there a lot of, there's a lot of aisles a lot of stuff right. and those lanes are a lot smaller than from a car right <laughs> okay so <laughs> just, just picture and driving down uh, an aisle yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> so, um, way too easily distracted. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> Hence uh, the reason I missed the turn on Highway 55. There, um, Bluetooth, though, can get you down to within a centimeter tracking, according to this article. So that's really close. Yeah. So it knows pretty much exactly where you're storing. And that's obviously dependent on how many beacons it's there and how many it's tracking. So it walks through that process of how the stores have seeded their stores. If they've put uh, what are essentially Bluetooth beacons, things that work like a um, essentially a tower that collect the data off of your phone whenever you're, you're, whenever you're going by sends out a little signal and says, hey, tell me about yourself, and it sends that information. And it can triangulate that and identify where you are at any given time, and more importantly, because it's doing it very fast, how long you've been there. I'm sure, like how long you've been standing there. Right. So if I'm standing in front of a bookstore, and if I'm in a bookstore and I'm sitting in front of the science fiction uh, area, it knows that it's going to want to send me advertisements on science fiction and if it can identify which area that I'm in, then that'll actually let them be only even more targeted. It knows that, hey, that's, he's in front of the aisle that has the, say, um, adventure science fiction authors that start with N. So it give, give, yeah. give, could give me very, very targeted information. Yeah. And if in point of fact, now that I think about it, if they put in... Um, trackers on the on the books it can actually even tell you which books i pulled off the shelf not in the not in the book itself but the actual shelf in the shelf yeah it Put it on the shelf you could measure the 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 weight yeah. of the shelf so there's okay let's let's it's, it's like the refrigerator <laughs> yeah tells you hey you're, you're almost out of milk right absolutely so um you think about that now that just took us down a very scary place <laughs> <laughs> so to let you know this is what he's actually interested in and the books he's pulling off the shelf and which ones he's putting back and if i tie it it can actually then tell me which ones i purchased and more importantly which ones i didn't purchase true yep so that becomes there so 
the article runs through a, a lot of that information and then, then it really starts to say, how are they collecting that data? And it runs through the fact that not only is it the stores that are collecting that data, but in many cases, it's going to be the applications that you have on your phone that you didn't know were collecting that data from you. Sure you did. You hit yes. Right. So I said, yes, collect that data from me. But that goes to the point. Did I know I thought? What did you say yes to? Yes. So I, I, I they say yes to a lot of things. But the... Uh, We're married. We have to. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> now, that first yes was the issue. The... Uh, uh, the Thanks to get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. My wife is never watching this video. <laughs> there... Um, Nor is mine. Um, in any of my f people that know my wife that are watching this video, you can't, <laughs> not authorized to share this. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, moving well back, so I can stay married another 20 or 30 years, there, um, when you say yes to an application, your application, say it's a game that you play. Yep. Um, and it needs location data. So I've played Pokemon Go. Sure. And it knows that it's, and I know that by definition, it needs location data to tell me where I'm at. Yes. So I'm doing that. Or and it could be some other it could be some other game that's doing that. What may be happening in the background is it's collecting that data for me and selling it to others. So within that, that it actually spends a, a little bit of an interesting concept about software development kits and explains what software development kits are to say that as you're writing an app, so let's say you're writing an app that you're going to want to use for, I don't know, um, oh, Trucking companies. Okay. You're going to say, I'm going to create a logbook for you. Yes. And you're going to record stuff into that thing. And you're going to you're going to request logbook data. Yes. And, and location data for that. Location data. Yep. You need location. So, and you've developed it with a software kit. Okay. Now, I've given you authorization to collect that data from me. Yes. Now, what else can you do with it? It's a lot of things. Well. So you can sell it. But I haven't told you you could sell it. You gave it to me. It's mine now. And it's in my privacy statement. I didn't say that I wasn't going to sell it now that I think about it. True, it didn't, but it didn't say that you, you weren't going to sell it or that you were going to sell it. Well, you got to have some kind of it. So this kind of goes together. There's a, there's a tie between the permissions that you grant okay. on your phone and then the privacy statement as to where people are going to use that data. And so there's a, there's a relationship that gets to this, okay, you've authorized this, and you've agreed to the privacy statement. Have you? It, it's broad. But you've agreed. It's broad. Did you press the yes? Yes. I, there you go. But again, <laughs> my, my, my issue with privacy statements is they're so broad, um, essentially it can hit a pull bar. It should be, it should be, we should narrow a privacy statement down so it can hit a fly. That's it. Nothing else. It has to be dead accurate. We were talking about earlier that, um, so if you need an app, if you've downloaded an app and it wants a, uh, a your, your photo out. Right. So because you're in your profile for your, for your game, it wants a picture, you can put a picture of you. So a lot of games have that piece. Right. So it says we, we need your media. Right. Because your it's media, gotta, right. and scary thought, is every picture on your phone, your Instagram mm -hmm. photos, your Facebook photos, your photos that you've taken of your vacation, all your videos. Any of the movies you've downloaded, any of the Mo pictures yes. any, you've any downloaded. Any media. Yeah, anything that you've downloaded as well. Yes. So so all, all, the, all the videos that you downloaded um, are also in the media file, uh, which means... But fortunately, you're not downloading any media you want, wouldn't want somebody to know that you're yeah, downloading. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Because right, that wouldn't be a problem. Though. No, yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't think, I, uh, I don't download anything at all. Perfect. That's why we have YouTube. That's why we have YouTube and we also have Netflix. It's all there. Okay, but if it's, if, if you're, it, there's an interesting question. Is it in the files that you're oh. downloading when you're watching Netflix or better yet, YouTube? That's no, 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 yeah, no, that's no. <laughs> Whoa, Ouch, my head just hurt. Yeah, wow, okay, anyway. So, this app, um, that wants your media file. Right. Uh, they now have it for your profile picture. Right. 
why can't they when you create the profile so don't ask your permission for your media file because you don't give it to them uh, and the only time that you give them allow access is to use a camera to take a picture to store on their end and not your end well a couple of things would come into because play because then they wouldn't need your media file well so let's 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 break that down a little bit one i may just want your data well but do you need it in the game for let's say let's go with pokemon well no, actually let's not do that let's not so that yeah so there's a golf one okay, okay. The, the golf one where you flick the yeah. golf ball right yeah they want your media file yeah let's they, let's say i'm playing a, let's say that i am playing a game around town where i am it's i've developed a game where i'm playing golf around the local city sure oh yeah you're throwing the ball down the streets right Heck yeah. so that actually sounds kind of fun actually stop it okay. <laughs> if you're a game developer you should talk to us <laughs> so, <laughs> at least me i got a lot of ideas <laughs> And they're all just a little weird. <laughs> they're but yeah, okay, yes. So so um, keep going. Yep. So anyway, so as so as you're doing it, you've said that I'm gonna collect the location data. Yes. Because I'm gonna need to do that. And but all I need is the picture of the golfer, right? Yes. Okay. So, but you're collecting your, the location and the media file. And the media file. So um, I'll go to your point. Now I'm collecting all of that data, so now I've asked for access, access to your location. Yep. And because I want your picture, I'm asking for the media files. Yes. Because that's that's a single setting on the phone. Yes. Media files. Yep. It's a broad setting. Right. But that's the nature of the setting on the phone. Can I can I set it to anything lower? The camera. Just camera. Just camera. Just, okay. Just so if camera. I can, so that's you can in, go as is just down to the actual camera itself right and maybe that and that's that's what we'd expect to see if i'm doing something related to playing the game around town because it you know again similar to some of these location games it's 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 sensing or it's reading what's it's seeing on the phone yes of course it's storing all that data too on their end yes yes on their end so so it's okay if the data is stored over there. Yes. Is if they're grabbing it at the time of the actual plane. Okay. So let's back all but, the way up because that, it's, 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 that, that raises a series of other questions. But, so what's going on is they're just saying, hey, let's give access here. Yeah. And so once you open the application, now they have access to it. Okay. So, so let's go back to your original question. Okay. So. It, I, it, the, the application takes a picture of me yes. and stores it in the camera file. Yes. And then says, I need to have access to that. So how do I then decide to, as, to, as, the, app, as the app developer, yep. I need permission to read. I suppose I could just get permission to read the camera, camera. for the photo. For the photo. And not Only. Any, anything that's stored. Okay. Don't, so you, and instead of asking permission, because mo- Nine times out of ten, you're given permission to play the game. If you say, so when you download the game, so you got, it's done downloading, and you hit play, they ask you the questions. Do you want to give access to location? Do you want to give access to media? Do you want to get access to this or that? If you click no, you can't play at all. Right, because the game's designed to require that. Again. Well, great, let me rephrase that. The game Why may be it is, designed. It is, it is not designed <laughs> around my media. It is designed on its own basis for whatever that game is. Not my media file. Not my location, except for a Pokemon Go, Harry Potter, those kind of things. Right. But then ask permission when I when I then open up the application, not to be able to play. So let's ask this question. And, and to be honest. Um, the Harry, the Harry, both the Harry Potter one and the Pokemon yeah. um, do, if you're not playing and your GPS is on, it then it will ask you to turn it on without turning on it automatically, which I actually really like. Those, those, those are really nice. I mean, that's, I mean that, that goes to, you know, an, an opt-in versus opt-in. Versus other games that just turn it on automatically. Right. Poor coding. <laughs> so before we go way down too many rabbit holes oh, on this. I'm, so, mm-hmm. Hold on. So... Okay. I not, tried, guys. I tried. Not yet. So, <laughs> we didn't, here's, so again, I just want to make a point. Yes. I really do. One. 
try to make one point. <laughs> so when you when a when you when you're, when you're you'd, 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 folks, developing you'd never, a game, you'd never know you was related to me. <laughs> never. Um, when, you, when you're developing a game, um, so that 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 photo that for my app for my avatar, um, my profile. The only reason why these companies are asking for the entire photo um, for the media, yep, is to then sell it. No, really. I, I, Who I know knew? I know it's hard. It's hard to believe. <laughs> That's the only reason why they're doing it. <laughs> so, again, but hold on. And they're also cheap because okay. that code is just out there. Right, it's built in the software development kit that they're talking about. Yes. And it's provided. So, and and storing me, storing a picture that it, the the game takes is actually harder on the game itself because it's then taking a photo and storing it on their end instead of storing it on our end. Now we won't get into the mechanics of that because that gets a little wacky. But again, they're cheap. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at all the game <laughs> developers out there. Well. Okay. If you if you if you put in your privacy statement, yes, we will sell the data, or tell me what you're going to do with the data. Don't just say, "Oh, we're just going to collect it." For what? So, is the okay. That's it. <laughs> so, is the only thing we have to worry about then simply the apps that we run? No. What else is there? Facebook. That's an app. It's company too, but yes. <laughs> okay. So, oh uh, well, Android. Okay, so the operating system. Operating system, Android, so, Apple, Google, right? Google. So they wouldn't be collecting that oh, data. Heck no, no, they <laughs> yeah. need to. Yeah, and so this, <laughs> ar this this article does go into that. That says that the comments that you know, in in and in some cases, even if you turn off Bluetooth, it's still collecting it's Bluetooth still collecting data. It. And we know that <laughs> we do know that uh, Android did get in trouble um, recently. Yes, because okay, well, okay, short side step. Um, Android got themselves in a bit of trouble because they were loading malware in the <laughs> operating systems, um, but it wasn't their fault. There was not. It's, it was a supplier that provided it. So it is yes. one of those things to think about. If you're completely off topic, but if you are a, dev a developer or you are providing material to somebody, there is a concern with what we call supply chain malware. Where when you're True. buying code from somebody, hey, you might want to make sure it doesn't introduce malware into your environment. And it's not just Android. This has been an issue for decades buying with PC code. developments. PC, I mean, most PC, I mean, I mean, Apple has stated that most of this stuff is, a lot of this stuff is actually open, open source. There's nothing wrong with open source. Again, what you just say earlier. <laughs> well, you want to test it. And make sure there's no malware. Right. Okay, so simply because you've acquired, okay. Open source is another conversation for another time because we can spend a long yes. time tracking on that one. And it's a worthwhile conversation because um, there's good ways to use open source. Yes. And there are a lot of bad ways to use open source. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I just, I'm on the edge today. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <clears throat> wow, you'd think he was doing audit risk work. So, um, <laughs> yeah, people wouldn't like you. Oh man, they would, they would hate me. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yikes. Um, oh, well, me and my wife, we had a team. Oh man, <laughs> Whew, yeah, scary. Actually, that would actually worry. Okay, again, <laughs> you're not helping us keep this to a minimum okay, time period. Back on track. Back on track. <laughs> so, um, so we do know that that reality is that, um, People do load load malware, and and you know, in all honesty, if somebody's running something that wasn't what you expected, I might actually consider that malware. It's not a virus, but it's not yeah, something it's I not expected something to expected. run. So you almost have to expect any of these days that you're, if you're carrying your phone with you as you're walking around. Unfortunately, I don't carry my phone with me when I'm walking around the grocery store. Unless I'm going to have to call my wife to figure out what I'm supposed to have bought. So he's always carrying around. <laughs> so the, uh, um, but I mean, your phone is essentially a beacon of where you're at all the time. And what this article really does, it goes into that and says, you need to be thinking about that. Uh, that you're essentially under observation all the time. Even if you don't think you are, you've turned off the Bluetooth. 
unless you've actually, and you may have even turned off location services, that's sure. still, they're still tracking. And so unless you're actually putting your device in a sheath of some kind to where it can't talk to the world, it's probably doing that and, and collecting that. Without you realizing it. Without you realizing it. Well, I think we probably all in the back of our heads know that that's occurring. Yes. And some of us care, some of us don't. Yep, absolutely. And a lot of people don't care. And in, in, in many cases, um, according to the folks that are selling this, in their view, they're saying this is something you want, that you, that you want to have better advertising, targeted advertising to you. So that data should be collected so that you can be a more efficient shopper and have more targeted material to you. Yes, I love ads. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> hence the reason. Only on Super Bowl do I love ads. <laughs> yes. Um, I, you know, I, I still use a couple of Super Bowl ads from years ago and training that stuff. Oh, yeah? Don't yeah. tell anybody. So... Um, I just said that online, didn't I? Ouch. <laughs> so the, uh, um, but you there, there is some uh, products that you can buy or, or <laughs> entertainingly enough, apps that you can download. Ooh, yay! Okay. <laughs> yay. Uh, <laughs> what do I get that permission? <laughs> yes, uh, where you can actually then go and scan and identify when there are beacons around you, um, and and you can shut off your phone in those situations and, mm -hmm. and actually bring it on down. Uh, the, the really question comes into play because, like any electronic device. You know, to be honest, even the phone, even the camera that we're using right now, we don't necessarily know what it's doing all the time. True. It does have yeah. Wi-Fi. Yeah. So it could be, you know, this video could be going out to who knows where. Could be tracking how long we talk. Great. <laughs> the government's watching us right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not going there. Nope. 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 So nope. the... Um, um, it is something there. Now, the one thing that we that we kind of danced around was that concept of uh, permissions. Yes. Okay. That, that, that you've given your permission to do this. And the privacy folks have talked about for years having simpler, more direct privacy statements so you know what they are. So they're not, because hands in the air, how many of you folks have read a privacy statement that's more than five pages? Me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kay. So... Uh, <laughs> Again, multiple if, ones. If, if you, <laughs> God, you got to get a hobby. <laughs> so the um, um, as as we do these things, it, it's uh, m that is a push to say that you can actually do it. Because for most people, we've become immune to that. We simply are pushing. Okay, that says I need to have location data. It needs to have personal data. It needs to know all sorts of stuff. And I'm just saying, sure, click. We don't care anymore. Yeah, we've we've become uh, except. When it gets taken. Except when it gets taken. Without and it's a little late to worry about it at that point in time. Exactly, because you've already given it away. Right. But in, in this case, you know, so there's a combination. So it ties together. You've told your device what, uh, what the application is authorized by you to collect. Yep. Um, and then within the applications and within whatever other tool sets you're using, You've, you've got privacy statements that state how they're going to use that and terms of service. So, but, so all of these things come together and feed together into a, a whole. Yep. So if you've allowed if you've allowed location services to be tracking you at a very precise level, and you but you've said to the to the, within the privacy statement, this is yes, but we're not going to share this data except for the third parties that are required to manage the information needed for this application. That's a lot of different people, because that and that goes to what David was talking about earlier. Is I think I know what that means. What do you think that that means? Yep. Um, and it's probably very different because if I want to use that data, and, and I've worked in privacy offices before uh, with privacy impact statements, and that was a big conversation. I was not the most popular person in the room when I would say, okay, you said you're going to do this, so how are you planning on using that data? And I always tried to be the advocate for the consumer um, in there because somebody had to be. <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't the marketing guys. <laughs> so. Never. Um, so some, you, had, you had to have that kind of approach because uh, there was a certain amount of tension built into that process as you build this. Yep. Um, and second, 
You know, a lot of people are putting apps out, so but let's, let's ask the question. How many games that you used or that your kids have used mm -hmm. have you paid money for? Oh, actually not a lot. Okay. A couple, but, um, okay, yeah, so, a couple. So if you're getting something for free, now you might be getting it out of the goodness of the developer's heart. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, but as, and it's what we've said about Facebook or YouTube or many other things. If you're getting a free service, you are the product. Yes. And that's the same thing that's happening here. Well, and, and, and if you look at um, app developers, yep. um, look at the brand. So do you play the same type of uh, games that that brand has? Do you download all their kind of games? Well, each of them will ask permission for a different thing. Right. Well, and you're building yourself a profile. Oh, you absolutely. Think Facebook's bad about yes. collecting data. Oh, games are even games worse. Games are even worse. Yeah. Because, yeah, you only make, it, for this game, it only wants your location. For this game, it wants your media. For this game, for some reason, it wants your cell data. So right. to track who you're calling. Again, why? Especially, I can't make a phone call in the game. So, yeah, I, those ones I hate when it wants your <laughs> call log. So what? again, what do you yes. what, what so you're are you given permission? What are you supposed to do when that happens? Say no. How many people say no? Never. Exactly. Because you want to play the game, the damn game. <laughs> What's more important, your privacy <laughs> or the game? Game. Yeah. <laughs> again, so if you look at it, it's it's not just a single game problem. It's actually building your you're you're building your own profile for these companies, and you're willing. But but to it's all anonymized. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, seriously. It's, 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 so they said they've anonymized that data. Facebook did. Well, and other, most of the other developers will too. They said they've anonymized it because then, then you'll be willing to give them more data. So great. I'm a number. Right. So we're all in prison? Well, it depends on your definition of life, I guess, and marriage. So the <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> so the, uh, um, Again, don't share this with my wife. The... Um, uh, so as, as the, the point I'm trying to make with anonymization is when you're saying that, they're, that, that they've anonymized your data, I'll be honest, I've been reading articles for the last 15 years that have talked about how they are taking that, quote, anonymized data applying it to other data sets yeah, yeah. and determining that, oh, yeah, that's David. Yes. <laughs> you can track where they're living. Okay. And then the, that, that number is here. That number frequently goes here. So they're tracking that person um, for that one. Now they sell it. You mean look, so Google Maps knows where I live because every time when I get in the car to go home, it says, oh, by the way, your next destination is your home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So well, the game does, too. Oh, that's true. I, mean, I play Pokemon Go so much that it knows <laughs> where I live. What, how, what, what place do I go? How do I circle? It tracks my movement. Yeah. Um, it, even it even knows where I work based upon the time that I'm there. Yes. And how so, long I'm there. So it, but it doesn't it's know just, if I'm actually I'm just, working. I'm just a number. But for that game, I'm just a number. If you collect it all together, now it becomes a list. Just sure. like an article that was talking about um, that you're really not anonymous when it comes to Bitcoin. Right. Same concept. Yeah, it, it, it came to the same concept. You, enough data that's out there. If I, if I can link enough material to a given number, I can then know who that person, that, who that number represents. So at least a reasonable level of well, accuracy. Well, if I know, if I know where um, a, a person is more frequently at in the evening time, between the hours of, say, 11 and 1. And it's a mail because and of some of the purchasing well, you've it's done. Not, it's not a bar, yeah. but it's an actual home. Right. So I can then actually go look up online for free that address. Right. And if you're not a renter, if you're an owner, I now have your first and last name. Right. Well, but it might not be you. It could be Emmerich. Well, if, uh, yes. I have, a, I have a list of the owner, <laughs> yeah. their kids. Right. Yeah, absolutely. that's all free out there. Yeah, that, that that material is generally available, and actually, that's been an issue on some of the stuff that's come out recently on some of these investigations, where it's amazing what you can find out about somebody in public records. Again, another conversation for another time, um, and it is it's it's a huge give and take as to what is a public record and how much public does that need to be. So. Sure. Wonderful conversations on privacy uh, relate to this, but let's just kind of ra start wrapping this thing up because we've been at it a while. We should probably wrap this up because <laughs> we could do this all night long. The um, 
maybe a good topic um, for our live conversation coming up very soon once we hit 50 people uh, on here on uh, Facebook uh, as um, and also YouTube. So. Yeah. We're almost there on Facebook. We got like 40 some. Once, yeah, yeah, yeah. once we hit 50, we'll do a live uh, show on Facebook just for our Facebook fans. Uh, when, once we hit uh, 50 here on YouTube. Well, simply because they're on there doesn't mean they're fans. They'd be doing it for entertainment value. And, oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it will do, so we'll also do the same thing here on YouTube. Once we hit 50 subscribers, we will do a live video. So, but anyways. So, tying this thing back up to this, you carry. A device around you that tracks that you carry a device with you that tracks your every movement and reports that to anybody that really cares about that mm -hmm. that's your phone um, we've come to kind of accept that as an industry yes. as, a, as a industry society. as a society so is that a good thing so I, I'd ask you to think about a few things related to this how much do you really want people to know about you it used to be not very much. Now we accept a lot. But what are you willing to give up to not have that data out there? Does it matter anymore given how long you've had that data out there? Things to think about, um, especially when you tie it to the purchases that you're doing and what that says about you as an individual or what people will say. Now, that being said, you can mess with this. By buying a lot of weird stuff, it's wasted money. <laughs> but you, you could swap could, phones with somebody for a couple of hours and really screw with the data. We, 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 we make a game, make a game out of it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Guess who's actually got the phone this week? <laughs> so whatever anyway. am I? <laughs> so, all right. So um, let us know what you what you'd like to talk about with this. Uh, Privacy is a hot topic for me. I love talking about it in general. Me um, too. <laughs> and um, and there's there's some wonderful training material out there. Um, if you're in, if you're a professional that's interested in this, the uh, American Institute of Privacy Professionals is a great place to go. Uh, some wonderful certifications on that. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Of course. But yeah, and um, even if you're not a professional, it's a still a good place to go. Yeah, there's there's some really good material out there that to, looks at this. Um, Electronic Freedom, Freedom Foundation and some others. Um, but be sensitive to what information you're providing. And always recognize that if you're giving, if you're using an application for free, unless you really know who's got it, you're the product. So with that, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay as squirrely as we are. <laughs>